Do you know what's wrong with me? Because I don't have a clue. <laughs> you know, you know, why'd she have to leave me, you know? She knows that she's the only thing that I have in this whole world. My parents moved. They don't give a fuck. I guess it's just you and me now, though. It's just me and you. You know, I know I told you I'd quit, but... Given the circumstances, I didn't think you'd mind. Have you ever heard of the male gaze? The what? The male gaze. It's like the assumption that the general viewer is male, so everything revolves around what men want to see. What men want to see? Yeah. It's a scary thought, actually. Well, why are you scared? You're not exactly difficult to look at. Sure, but you can stare all night long, but you'll only see what I assume you want to see. I'm Donnie. Nice to meet you, Donnie. I don't know. I just feel like I'm not getting anything with hanging out with my friends anymore. They don't make me stop thinking about Jenna. They're not fixing it, and they're not really even helping it. What do you expect to get out of your time with your friends? I can't answer that. You can. Again, it's your decision. It's my decision, yeah, I know. You don't think any of this is helping, do you? I didn't say that. Let's talk a little bit more about Jenna. You mentioned you were still thinking about her. I never stop. She doesn't return my texts. She doesn't return my calls. I just feel like we ended things so abruptly, you know, like I didn't get any closure. And what emotions are you feeling right now, thinking about her? Well, right now I feel pissed off. That's OK. And that's normal. You're allowed to feel angry. Yeah, and I'm even more pissed off because my insurance doesn't cover those happy pills you prescribed and they're not even doing a damn thing. Would you like to talk about your prescription? No, I want Jenna to call me back. <sighs> but she won't. So what do I do about that? You know what I have to say about that. Would you say that you isolate yourself whenever you start feeling angry? That's a safe assumption, sure. So I think we found our perfect storm, and I think you know what you need to do over the course of the next two weeks. Hang out with people more? Is that... It's not a question. Good. I know there's business up in Nashville. Hey, check that girl out. Look at my school with her. Didn't know when she got so hot. She doesn't look that different. She didn't have pose. <laughs> Yeah, I think I remember her. Arlington Hot? Huh. Two months working together, we're just now figuring out that we went to the same high school? I was kind of a loner. Did you know me? 
probably a good thing. A lot's changed since then. Hey. Hey, what's up? Doesn't look like a lot changed. Hey, you uh, hung out with Jenna Benson, right? Yeah, we dated for a little while, but not anymore. Sorry to hear about that. Not a big deal. Hey, have y'all heard anything about a missing girl? No, I haven't. At least not yet. Why do you ask? Well, I mean, it's probably nothing. I just heard some people at the bar talking about it. But... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll see it on the news. You been? I'm fine. My life is fine. My sleeping is fine. And the pills are just fine. Donnie, do you want to be here? Not really, but I kind of have to be. You know, I remember when you first started coming to see me. You would barely speak. Look at us now. Whether you realize it or not, we are making good progress. Yeah, I guess you're right. I went to a bar with some people that I work with the other day. Not to drink or anything, but... Just for the company. That's great news. Would you say that these co-workers are your friends? Yeah, I guess. Oh, that's good, Donnie. Jenna was brought up. You know, it's funny how in every conversation I have with someone she's talked about. I drove by her house after. Donnie, you know you can't do that. I know. I know. I was just curious. I remember her, the way she looked, <laughs> the way she smelled, her eyes. You could get lost in her eyes and forget the world, if only for a little while. She was someone who was so interesting, someone who I was so fascinated with. But then I guess I got too comfortable and then came the fighting. Now she doesn't even want to see me. She doesn't even want to talk to me. I guess I just want to have the chance to say I'm sorry for whatever I did. Can we start over? Sure. Oh, Brett, did you tell him who you ran into the other day? Oh, dude. Yeah, so guess who I ran into? Emily fucking Watkins. We were just talking about her. We were? Yeah. At the bar? Oh, oh, yeah, okay, I remember now. Yeah, so she's still with that idiot Tyler. Um, God, I hate that guy. You okay? Yeah, I'm all right. I just haven't been sleeping well. I have this dream that keeps me up. Like a scary dream? No, it's not scary, it's just weird. It's like this house and a flickering porch light, and I keep getting further away. You think that's like a sign or something? What would it be a sign for? I don't know. Sometimes people can interpret their reoccurring dreams as some sort of sign. At least that's what I saw in Dr. Phil. You think it's a vision or something? I don't know. Uh, maybe it's something that you ate. Maybe you're just crazy. But now that you mention it, you know that missing girl we were talking about? It's Jenna. I saw that flyer when I was out walking the other night. And I think she's been kidnapped or something. And these dreams, they're like leading me to where she is. And that's why I haven't heard from her. Dude, you of all people shouldn't be joking about this. Let's get back to work. Claire? Donnie, what are you doing here? 
I need to talk to you, like, right now. How do you two know each other? Well, we work together. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's a long story, <laughs> um, but um, we'll finish this up later. Okay. She's all yours, so I'll see you at work. Okay. Well, usually this is when I take my lunch, but come on in. Why didn't you tell me about the visions? I'm telling you now. <laughs> that didn't answer my question. I didn't think it was a big deal. They were happening, but now they're happening more, and I just don't know what to do about it. Are you still taking the medication? Yeah, every night. And that's another thing. I ran out, so maybe that has something to do with it. Alcohol? No. You don't sound sure. <laughs> I know. My alcohol consumption has nothing to do with these visions. Donnie... We've talked about the alcohol issue. It's not an issue anymore, okay? And it's not even relevant right now. I'm telling you, these visions have some sort of meaning. Are you sure they're not just dreams? You think I'm crazy, don't you? No. That's not what I think. I don't think you're crazy. Then why won't you help me figure this out? I can't do that. Only you can do that but I can help you with your anxiety. I'm not fucking anxious. Then what do you call this? What are you feeling right now? Well, frankly, all I feel is annoyed. Donnie, this is serious. I know this is serious, and I'm wondering why you aren't taking me seriously. Okay, let's rein it back in. Can I tell you what I'm thinking about right now? <sighs> sure, go for it. I think you are still feeling guilty about what happened to Jenna, but I think you're starting to realize that there's nothing you could have done to stop it. Stop what? She doesn't realize what she's doing. Those dead weights that she hangs around are just bringing her down. Donna, yeah. stop. session for the last six months. Jenna Benson killed herself eight months ago. You've been reliving it. She was missing for a while, but the fact is she's passed on. And I think that it's time that you realize... Realize what? That she's dead? I know this is difficult for you to process, but I think the reason you're having these visions is because you blocked it out when it actually happened. And now your brain is starting to catch up to reality. Do you hear what I'm telling you? Donnie, wait. Donnie! You won't like what you find. Excuse me, young man. Can I help you with something? Um, are you lost? Uh, no, I'm not lost, uh, but I'm not sure why I'm here. I'm just looking. You got yourself a name? Donnie. Well, Donnie, I'm Aunt Becky. That's what everybody calls me around here, and you're welcome to do the same. So how'd you end up on my porch? 
Well, this is gonna sound crazy, but I feel like I've been here before. Somebody tell you about us? No, no one, no one told me about you. Well, I mean, it's okay if they did. We're, we're a communal people. I knew Jenna Benson, and maybe that's why I'm here. You know, I don't, <laughs> I don't know why I do the things I do anymore. Well, you look like you could use a cup of coffee. This will be a fresh spot. Want to go in and have a cup of coffee? Yeah. So you said you knew Jenna. You know, I always wondered where she ran off to. Maybe she did, maybe she didn't. Yeah. You know, looking back on it now, I probably just wasn't paying attention. Well, I guess we're all guilty of that from time to time. Why are you here, Donnie? Do what? You say you've never been here before. Don't you remember following Jenna out here a while back? Are you here to find the answers you've been searching for? 